everyone, Josh here from Fresh Start Customs and today we're going to be reviewing the proof grade walnut plywood here from Glowforge. Um, just the walnut in general. Um, I may do a separate video for the hardwoods but it's basically the same thing, it just has a different density. So we're going to go into um, things that I like about it, things that I don't like about it, uh, total cost from Glowforge here and um, overall thought. So let's go ahead and get started here. So your, uh, when you get your proof grade material, it's gonna come in a 12 by 20 sheet, unless you choose to do a larger sheet, but most people will do the 12 by 20 sheets here. So um, first off, when you get your glow forge material, it will be pre-masked with a QR code, just like this. Um, this is a sheet that I've used previously, and it's just too large to put on camera, so I cut off uh, Nice little sample piece here just to show you when you peel back the masking, that's what it looks like. Let me get that closer here to the camera. So that's that nice little shine there. Now um, let's go ahead and move these out of the way here and uh, we'll go ahead and bring in some projects here for you. So um, the first project here is going to be the wishing well. This shows you um, pretty uh, much how it's going to engrave um, solid black lines here. Um, I have not done a photo engra engraving on this. Uh, the reason being is, as you can see, it kind of blends in with the wood, and I really don't think that's going to look so good with uh, an actual photo engraving. So that's one thing I don't like about it is uh, the engraving is dark, but I don't think it's meant to be based on just the engrave itself. Um, so there's the wishing well. Uh, I'll show you a couple other things here, as you've seen at the beginning of the video. Um, this is our hanging uh, photo sign. As you can see, they they swing back and forth here. Um, it's going to be a little hard to get on camera all the way because based on how close it is. But as you can see, um, it snaps together really well with the joints here. And then it works well for that hinge type thing as well here. Um, so that all snaps together well. I like it for that. The aesthetics look great on this. Um, so if you're going to be using it for something that's not for an actual engrave, like of a photo... I would highly recommend walnut. This is probably one of my uh, favorites here, probably my second favorite type of wood, um, but it has to be for like aesthetics, like outside um, signs or uh, photo holders or something like that. And then where it really shines is whenever you get into mixing the two with uh, like mixing materials with this. So here's a good example where I use green glass acrylic and the walnut on the bottom there. Um, and I definitely, this is where it shines the most, uh, in my opinion. Uh, it looks great with uh, maple and walnut as well. Um, I already got rid of my project that I did with that, so I can't really show you that now. But it looks great whenever you combine two together. So overall, those are the three projects that I wanted to show you and different things of going over the walnut material. So let's get into the pricing here. Um, the 12 by 20 uh, eighth inch material for the walnut is $16 per sheet. And then the 12 by 20 plywood uh, quarter inch material is $20 per sheet. Um, and then if you want to get into the hardwoods, like I said, I don't have any examples yet. Um, I may do a separate video if you guys want a separate video on that. Um, but otherwise, I can just lump it all into this one for you. Uh, that one, those come in like 6 by 12, uh, 12 inch sheets right now. And those are $7 for the 8th inch hardwood. Um, now those, the only real difference is it's going to look the same on the outside here. But you can sand it a little bit more um, since it's actual hardwood through, through, uh, through and through. Where this is actually uh, like an MDF in the center there or f fake wood there. So that's the difference between them. Um, that's pretty much it. So my rating on this would probably be about a 7 out of 10. The reason being is, like I said, the engraves are definitely a darker. Um, and it shows up a little bit better on camera because of that shine. But it's definitely darker. I would like to have an actual lighter type of wood for uh, photo engraving. But when you combine them together with other... Um, materials and the walnut itself that's where it really shines or just the aesthetic look in general um, so that I will give it a nine if you're gonna be using it for that 
So there's my rating. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys next time.